football fans tribe here with the interview Nigeria football fans after matches and we give you Nigeria football fan content back to back so if you're new I beg just click that subscribe button and thank you so much for watching. 4-2 winning you were very confident for the win but I know you predicted 3-0 a clean sheet your thoughts on the game Olu? Uh, it was a nice game and as I've said it time with that number that Arsenal always have the superior edge over Leicester. Yeah. And yesterday when I was saying that Arsenal, I predicted that Arsenal is going to win 3 nil. But I was angry that that clean sheet was destroyed. Yeah. But I knew that it's an open game and I was saying it in the studio that yesterday that the only team that can defeat Arsenal this season is a team that is playing physical football. So long you're not playing physical football, you're, you want to play an open play football, Arsenal will beat you to it. Except the likes of Man City and Liverpool and uh, who are just a level above? Who are just a level above Arsenal? But I knew that what Leicester is going to bring to the field is that <clears throat> fanciable football, and I know that Arsenal is an upper grade to Leicester. And another thing that actually helped Leicester not to conceive more goals is because of the formation which they played. They were playing five-man defense from the onset. So even not for that five-man defense, even with the five-man defense, you can see that there are so many loopholes mm -hmm. in the uh, West uh, Leicester's uh, defense. Then imagine if it was a back four. Then imagine that if it's a back four, they would have counted maybe six, seven. Mm -hmm. If you watch very well in that defensive front, that five, six, and this, there is no cohesion. Uh, what's his name? For Fana and uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, what's this? Uh, former Castagna, the right wing back. Uh, Castagna and this um, this former Manchester United player. They weren't communicating. There's lack. There's Johnny Evans. Yeah, Johnny Evans. There was lack. They were, they were lacking that communication. So that's what happened. That uh, actually affected the team so well. So I knew that we were going to beat them. So when they now changed to back uh, to four four two, I was expecting more goals. Gabriel Jesus should have scored close to five goals. He missed so many goals, but it's also good for his confidence. I always say that I would prefer to have a striker who misses a lot of goals and scores few than a who can create goals and have miss ahead. Then than a striker who does not create and doesn't even know how to miss doesn't score. So Gabriel Jesus is actually giving us now a blend. And then uh, what you're trying to say basically is if Jesus didn't score today and he still had those two assists, you would have be okay with that, Abi? Yes, if Jesus didn't score. The essence of you being a striker is not just... Yeah, we know we have good day and we know we also have bad day in the office. But let it be that as you're a striker, even if you cannot score, let it be that you are active playing. If you cannot score, make sure you give an assist. So Gabriel Jesus, he was able to score and he was able to create something else for someone else. So I, I actually loved... The pattern of play from the attack. Nice one. And then Fofana has his uh, transfer market value drop today. You know, the issue is that the Chelsea people sometimes, I'm sorry to say, they always say I attack Chelsea a lot. But sometimes they can be blinded to to a fault. Yeah. I don't see any reason. Even some of the Chelsea people that watched the match with me today I actually saw it that Fofana is not worth the amount of money Chelsea is going to waste on this guy. Yet we all we say oh, Chelsea has money, they, are, they have money to spend. Do we also do Chelsea, does Chelsea also have money to waste? Look at Fofana, who is playing against him? He's playing the likes of Martinelli. What if he plays a higher version of people like Salah? He plays people like uh, uh, Mares and plays mm -hmm. uh, or even Haaland. What will it, what will now happen? You see, even Martinelli is bullying him out of the field. When it comes to pace, it's not good in pace. When it comes to uh, fiscality, it's not too strong. Yeah. So I don't know what what encouraged Chelsea to put up such a bid for him. Is it out of anxiety? Is it because there's no other defender in the market? I, I hate it when coaches they are when coaches are stereotyped. You believe because this guy is playing Premier League, you say if you bring him from outside, he cannot meet or it's not true. Why don't you try other options? It's only for is he only the only for Fana that is in the market? So it's not worth that money. It's, it's a waste of money on him. For me, Fofana is an OK player of 30, 35. Nothing more. If not that the market is bad. Uh, from the onset, I said Saliba is that gel in that Arsenal defence. It hasn't changed. This home goal is what will actually show his character. Whether <coughs> sorry, he's able to pick up from here or he's going to damn him forever. Yeah. But after the home goal, I, I, I watched him. He wasn't panicking. Faced, yeah. He wasn't faced. He wasn't 
concern about the home goal. You know that it was a mistake. Yeah. And me, to me, I wouldn't have blamed him for that goal. We watch what happened about Ramsdale. He has been shaky this season. You saw in the first my whole player against Crystal Palace, <coughs> he almost cost us a goal. Yes. And even before this goal came in, there was also one, he almost gave a, gave away penalty. He has no reason coming out. There is no reason for him coming out. I don't know what brought him out. I still keep saying it. Arsenal need additional <coughs> signing. I'm not okay with Xhaka. I'm not okay with Xhaka. Look at the midfield. What happens if Pate gets injured again? Gets injured. Or Nene. Or Nene gets injured. We all know these people are injury prone players. As night, the whole game they play today, we don't have any defensive midfielder in the field. Pate is not a defensive midfielder. People keep saying, oh, because he's a black man, he has muscle. No, Pate is not a defensive midfielder. But has not been playing him in that role. What happened if Pate is not in a match? What will happen to the Arsenal team? All these old glimpses and all the rest of them, they are playing like this old oh, fancy football. It will all die. Because if your midfield, if that defensive aspect of it is not strong, it will affect every other department of the field. So going forward against Bournemouth, it's also another three point in the bag. Playing against Fulham, it's also another three point in the bag. But teams like teams I'm afraid of is I don't know what Tottenham is going to bring against Arsenal. I don't know what Man City is going to bring against Arsenal. We don't know these people are upgrade to Arsenal. Yeah. I don't know what Liverpool is going to bring to Arsenal. So these are the teams, and I don't know what Newcastle. It might shock you to say <coughs> I did not call all that. I called Newcastle because of their fiscality. I don't know what they are going to bring to the plate. So I don't. I, I, I'm not saying Arsenal is going to win league. No, I'm not. I will never say it. But I'm seeing top four as a possible outcome. Awesome.